Third thing to really focus on yourself is to watch closely. I know this may sound obvious, but it's important and it's worth unpacking briefly. Um, I mentioned in the skills portion earlier, but watching repetitively and then breaking it down to a very granular level is essential. The key here is don't figure out just what's wrong uh, you know, before you walk up to a player and start talking to them. Figure out how you can fix it in bite-sized pieces. No player likes hearing uh, kind of negative feedback even if you call it constructive feedback, if you don't actually have a constructive comment. Um, and so you have to watch long enough and think hard enough where you actually have a solution uh, in, in an actionable way, in bite-sized pieces. Um, an example here is there's a player uh, on Revolver that I'm working with on their Flick Huck. Um, at the beginning of the, the year, uh, he had a lot of issues. <laughs> he had issues with foot placement, uh, knee bend, um, the direction of his, of his uh, non-pivot kneecap uh, relative to the, the foot on that side. Um, he had an issue with his off-arm rotation like I had shown earlier with Eli and also he had grip issues and he had follow-through issues. So a whole bunch of issues here. Um, and basically, you know, I kind of noticed and wrote down all of those issues but I'm working through those with him in a serial fashion, not in a parallel fashion. So step by step and frankly to be honest and the reason I'm leaving this anonymous is I haven't told him what all the steps are. Um, I'm basically just taking it one step at a time. It's really overwhelming to a player to know all the things they have to fix. So just give it to them in little bite-sized pieces. And in general, as you get good at this, each incremental piece um, will help things improve. And it's so gratifying for a player to make a change and see an effect. Um, I would say one, one example of uh, you know, a, a subtle tweak like that, um, since I, I'm uh, trying to give as many applied examples as possible, is uh, backhand grip for long backhand hucks. Um, in general, most players, uh, when they're younger, tend to have their thumb uh, on the backhand huck grip be too perpendicular to the side of the disc and have too much of their thumb and their hand on top of the disc. Uh, and so rotating more of your hand underneath the disc and actually uh, moving your thumb so that it is, at the very least, on the ridges on the top of the disc, if not on the outside of the ridges um, actually will lead to much more distance. Um, so that's a that's a bite-sized piece. It's a simple adjustment in in the uh, in the backhand grip, and that's one that that we've uh, taught quite a bit on revolver and has um, significantly improved the backhand distance for the hucks on the team. <laughs>